Hey, what's going on? Strat Soldier here uh, with a real quick video. People are asking me about these levels of reclaim. Uh, this is from Rob's original Strat course from 2018. Uh, I did not make this stuff up. Uh, the reason why we want to draw these levels of reclaim is so we don't have to draw hundreds and hundreds of uh, broadening formations off of Scenario 3s. All right. They end up looking like spider webs. Uh, if you want to use it, awesome. If you don't, don't worry about it. All right. Uh, but again, uh, that's what that's the way Rob taught it. That's the way I do it. So I know I just started talking about these very recently, uh, but uh, I did not make this stuff up. So we're going to watch a couple clips and then uh, and then we're going to look at some live charts. So if we look at a monthly chart of Google, and I'll probably go and I'll go into this in just a little bit more detail in a few minutes. The monthly chart of Google, there's a massive outside month range, 128 points, followed by a multiple inside bar pattern, then range extension that finally range reclaimed. Here, this bar was 128 points wide. People ask me about Google for months after that. I'm like, you got to get out of there, right? Because of those multiple inside patterns. So what did it do? It went inside. It went outside here. It went inside. But then here, once it finally broke that bar, that's something we wanted to know about. Because then it reclaimed it. And you can see the lows of all these openings and closes here. Boom. Here was our reclaim. Eventually came back and took both sides of this 128 bar out in triangle fashion. So if we look at a weekly chart, and I'll go to this again in a second because we want to clean it up for you. Not only can we go after those reclaim levels of highs and lows, right? We want to go after the reclaim levels of outside bars because we know they're fractal triangles, right? And so at this point, this was an outside bar. We can draw horizontally because that tells us we're getting back into that, all right? Right there. That's exactly what we want to do right there. This upper line here reclaimed this outside bar. And so the importance of that is that most people, when they learn about the triangles, are trying to time them from the exact low of the triangle or from the exact high. We don't have to do that because we know that the range is expanding. We want to look for the, for the setup to go back the other way. We don't have to get the exact point. We want to get out if we're on the wrong side during that. But we don't have to enter at the exact bottom of a triangle or the exact top. We don't have to do that because if it's right, if the triangle is true, we're going to have more reclaim levels to go after once it starts racing to the other side because we know it'll do that. And here you can see when this bar got up in here after the reclaim reclaim, it took the highs out of that outside bar, right? It took the highs of that outside bar. Ba -ba -ba bam all right, the lower lows, the higher high, the lower lows. If we reclaim this stuff, we're going back to higher highs, which indeed it did. When it went kicking pattern on the weekly, all right, people aren't used to things moving like this, right? We're totally good with that because we know it's kicking pattern weekly, reclaiming all these levels here, all right? You'll notice here, Not only to reclaim the levels, once again, let's draw them. To help you look at them, you can go reclaim of the outside bar there. This was an outside bar. Kicking reclaim at the same time. All right. This one here, one, two, three, all these things getting taken out. This was an outside bar. Pow, pow, pow. How is this, this thing so strong? This is why. So when it comes up into here, what can we expect it to do? We can expect it to go to new highs. So if we go back and then we look at where the old high was. Here. Once we start ripping through this stuff, we got a pretty good idea. This thing's going to take this out. Right? Because this broadening formation is going to broaden. 
right? So when people thought, oh, it's say a way overbought, way overbought, this thing's taken out the highs almost for sure, right? <laughs> at that at that point, and we're still going to use what we know to be true, actionable signals. And anytime that thing has full time frame continuity to the upside, we want to be involved because we're pretty certain that's going through there. If we go back, well, if we go back to that weekly, like so, or the uh, daily. This is an old triangle here. Once again, remember we talked about this actionable signal here. Now, as time moves away from them and up into here, right? It can be breached a little bit. What's going on in here? We know we're st we're up into this th neighborhood of this thing here. Potentially, we've got the lower lows here. This area becomes very important, right? We're going to use the old triangle as support as well as the bottom of the new one, the top of the old one, the bottom of the new one. And so what we would look for here is actionable signal with, with full time frame continuity to the upside if it's going to break out. As of right now, it's an inside month. Potential combination with an inside week. So we'll be watching that this week to see if we can take out all of this stuff here and go into new highs. Now, once again, we will be exhaustion risk should we do that. But so long as we're above that monthly, we are we would be inside month and up. And if it happens this week, you're also inside week and up. So we're going to be paying attention to that. If we go to Google again, Google, you see all this stuff like here, right? And if you look back here, Fractal triangle here, all right? Tries to go range expansion up into there. But if we go back to that bigger chart that we were talking about, about this outside bar, all right? And then the lower low off of here. Once again, we're going to look for combinations. What would cause this reclaim on the monthly? Weekly takes them out and comes back up, forms a hammer. Didn't go immediately. We had to go after that outside bar again, right? I'm sorry if we go back further. It's further on that on that one. My bad. Sometimes charts are too big. So we got that slight lower low. It took out that big monthly bar. All right, all these reclaims of all these outside bars, and if we go to the daily, you're gonna see this. When that occurred, and see this is what happens when you draw too many triangles, right? So we can get rid of all that, like so. What occurred is form the daily hammers. Hammer, hammer, inside hammer, and so when you had this inside hammer, right here. Seven ten, and go back to those weeklies. Seven ten is all up into here. Reclaim, reclaim, reclaim the monthly opening that month and that July. Here and then as we go into July, the monthly opening was seven oh five. Right, so we reclaimed all that stuff. With those actionable signals going full time frame continuity back to the upside, that's when we can start looking for things to race to the other side. All right? So if we look, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Levels of reclaim. All right, I didn't make it up. It came from Rob Smith himself. All right, levels of reclaim. And I talked about QQQ. We're gonna look at QQQ really fast um, because I did not expect to have to make this video. Uh, QQQ. Uh, again, if it, if it helps you and it makes sense to you, use it. If it doesn't, don't. The reason why Rob was talking about these levels of reclaim is because we want to, you don't want to draw a bunch of spider webs. You don't want to have a bunch of stuff all over the charts. You don't. You don't. All right. Going back to the charts in QQQ, uh, the overall broadening formation for QQ, for QQQ on the daily chart, very big. All right. Very big. But I know for a fact 
uh, 361.15 gets us back into this old try right here. You want to draw your broadening formation and then look across for any scenario threes that can be taken out and go back through a previous range. All right. Notice uh, this is Thursday and Friday of this week. All right. Uh, September, uh, excuse me, October, October, October 12th, October 13th. His, here's the bottom of the this try. Actionable signal hammer works all the way back through this try back here. All right. Exhaust reversal back down at that exact point. All right. That's what I'm trying to show you guys. If it helps, awesome. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Don't use it. All right. It's okay. AMD. AMD. The reason why I got back in the AMD is because I wanted to get back into this right here. And it worked for a little bit and then it reversed back down. All right. Actually, it worked for a lot of bit. <laughs> AMD. I, I stayed on AMD because I wanted to get back through this level of reclaim on the daily broadening formation. Here's 100 when everything was just getting demolished because of Fed reports and things like that. All right. Here's one level of reclaim right here. AMD daily chart starts at 100. I had actionable signals to get in on this. I did. All right. I'm in here. Now we're working this thing. I want to get up to 111.69. It missed it by, uh, it, it, it stopped uh, on Thursday at 111.34. All right, 111.34, it started reversing back down. All right, end of the day at 104, excuse me, 105.09. All right, it went back through this previous range, hits the top of this one, comes right back down. Here's another level of reclaim right here at 107. The top of that one is 119. If we, add, we have actionable signals that go right back through this, back to the highs, and then goes, I'm looking to see uh, 119. That's what I'm looking for, all right? Uh, if you don't wanna trade it like that because it doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it, don't do it, all right? I would rather, uh, me personally, I'm gonna keep using these. Because it gives me a, it gives me levels I can actually look for that this is where we're going. Okay, it, all right. It exhausted. Why did it exhaust? All right. It, it hit the top of this uh, old try back here and started moving back down. All right. That makes sense to me, and I'm going to keep using it. All right. Uh, it all goes with actionable signals, time frame, continuity, and broadening formations. All right. If it's too confusing to you, too many lines on the charts, don't worry about it. Don't use it. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you those levels of reclaim because I did not make that up. All right. That's important to me to know that you know that uh, it's real. All right. All right. I came straight from Rob Smith. So if it works for you, use it. If it doesn't, don't. All right. I'm looking for I'm looking for what they're doing on the month and I want the week to reconfirm what we're seeing on the month and then the days and the 60s to reconfirm what we're seeing on the week and the and the month. If it doesn't do that, I don't trade it. Okay. That's me. That's me. If you don't want to do it like that, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, the strat customizes itself to you. All right. So that's all I got for this one. Uh, we can shift bonus vid on levels of reclaim. Talk to you guys later. Peace.